So what is Chlor AI and how do we mine it? Let's find out. So I stumbled across this project, Chlor AI, when I was doing one of my Cryptex mining videos. If you guys want to check that video out, it should be popping up here towards the end. Anyways, it looked like it was one of the more profitable coins to mine. So I decided to go ahead and dive in and check it out. And here we are. We're going to see how to mine it. Wallets different miners you can use, overclocks, all those type of things to get you guys up and going on the Chlor project. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so here we are on the Chlor homepage, distributed supercomputer that fits your needs, access GPU computing nodes from community members all around the world. You can go ahead and rent their equipment for you know AI use cases, or if you just wanna go ahead and mine, things of that nature. You got uh, AI training, harness the power of high-end GPUs for efficient, scalable AI model training, compatible with various deep learning frameworks, and prioritizing data security. Of course, you can go ahead and mine on it. Boost your cryptocurrency mining speed and profitability with our powerful GPUs while avoiding high home energy costs and maintenance hassles. And of course, you can go ahead and movie render if you got a big project and you need the resources to go ahead and render that with. You can go ahead and rent their GPUs out and you should be good to go for your project. Everything that runs in Docker runs on Core AI. Why us? Got the lowest price. Experience top tier GPU services at a fraction of the cost. Bonus Chlor, bonus Chlor for rewards when you lease your video cards on our platform, monetizing your resources and building your crypto wealth. And they got a powerful API. Got about 10,844 cards here, 2200 machines, 68.2 Chlor in the proof of holding and 54,000 total orders plus according to their website here. So that's just a brief overview of the Chlor framework. Again, it will be down below if you guys want to deep dive a little more. They do have a pretty cool rental system here. They do have this also proof of holding system. I'll briefly explain. Increased rewards. The more Chlor coins you hold, the more bonus Chlor you receive for leasing your equipment. So if you hold Chlor and you lease your equipment, you get a little bonus for doing that, which is kind of neat. They got a hassle for usage, no blocking, service discounts, optimal use and no penalties again i will leave this link down below so to get into how to mine a project of course we're going to need a wallet and i've got this uh loading i think i got this on my amd rig i've got a windows there if you got linux you can check out the source code if you want but again we'll be dealing with linux on my amd machine which is going to be right here mining cryptics on one of my cards and mining chlor right there so just go ahead and download that put it in its own folder like i did here you go into there and you just double click on the chlor qt it will take a little bit to go ahead and pull up but once it does it's going to go ahead and look just like this what you're going to need for mining of course is going to be the wallet address so just go ahead and click on receive enter whatever label you want you can see i've already done mining here if you don't want to enter a label you don't have to you can just go ahead and click request payment and it'll go ahead and pop up and give you your wallet address right there and just go ahead and click uh, copy address and you'll be good to go for the miner speaking of miners i'm using gp U miner there are various types of miners i'll show you guys that in a sec but i'm using g miner because you can use it on nvidia and amd i've got this running on my nvidia machine as well so you would download the g miner and i put it in the stone portal like i normally do i will have this bat file down below i'll also show you guys where you can get it on the mining pool that i am using but again to go ahead and edit this bat file you're going to want to go ahead and put your wallet address in there which is going to be right here that you just got from the wallet, of course. That's slash NVIDIA rig. That's just a rig identifier that I like to use when I am mining so they show up on a pool and I know I'm good to go. So when this is done, you're just gonna go ahead and let me show you guys this real quick. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So let me go ahead and edit the file right there. And when you're done, just go and click file save as make sure it's a dot bat file you can call it whatever you want but make sure it's a dot bat or it will not work just go ahead and click save overwrite yes and you'll be good to go you just double click on that now miner pulls up looks just like that so speaking of pools i'm over here on cryptex i did do a video like i stated earlier on cryptex again that video will be popping up here at the end of this one if you want to go ahead and check that out but this is the pool section on cryptex and if you go over to chlor right here just go ahead and click on start mining and again like i stated in the last video you can scroll down here and it'll give you your actual host address your server address etc port but to make it even easier for you here's all the different Different kind of miners you can use just go ahead and click it'll open in a new window depending on what kind of machine you have amd or nvidia 
Like I said, I'm using G minor because you can use it on both. But you go ahead and enter your rig name right here and your wallet address. When you do that, it'll automatically pre-populate for you down here, depending on what miner you have. That's why I like this pool. It's very easy to use and it's easy for you to guys go ahead and get connected to it. So once you go ahead and enter your wallet address, it will populate there. So I'll show you guys real quick. Say this is going to be my wallet address right there. Again, there's that little thing I just typed out and worker name. I can just go ahead and put worker name my rig again it pre-populates down here so all you got to do at this point is go ahead and copy this file save it to whatever machine you're using to go ahead and mine with just name it a dot bat file and you'll be good to go and once you have submitted a couple of shares you come up to here go ahead and enter your wallet address click search and it will go ahead and pull up to your stats and as you can see I've been mining this thing for going on five days now averaging about 40 six mega hash well actually about 50 average current's 46 balance of 36 right now chlor about a four dollars worth you get a payout at 40 chlor so i'm getting close to the actual payout and of course there's my identifiers nvidia and amd rigs so i like to go ahead and put those into bat file so it's easy to see if you guys did not want to use cryptex you can go ahead and choose a different pool over here on mining pool stats there are a bunch of pools mining this coin right now and you can see cryptex is sitting down here in number six spot with about 88.9 giga hash so if you guys are wondering about overclocks, Cryptex does have a little section, like I mentioned in that previous video, that shows you the overclocks for different coins, that at least that they have on their pool. So you can just go ahead and select algorithm Chlor, which is down here, and it goes up and it pulls up all the different cards, which isn't many right here, because this database is growing. I did add my 1060 and 1070 Ti down here, right here. You can see Crypto Fish. If you wanted to add your card and help the community out, just go ahead and click on Add and it'll pull up you can select your card whatever it may be and you can put down the core clock memory power limit your initial hash rate the hash rate after you went ahead and enter those overclocks go ahead and click save and it'll enter it into the database and all that does is helps us miners out guy so this is a good resource in and of itself if you're not even going to mine core you can come here and check out whatever you know coin you're going to go ahead and mine and they'll probably have an overclock on it if you do have a card that you want to go ahead and help somebody out with with. go ahead and enter the overclocks here help the rest of the community out that would be great so the core price right now is about 11 and a half cents it has been as high as close to about 30 cents right there uh, a few months back so as i'm making this video right now it does have 2x potential which i think it could quite go even higher the supply is 1.3 billion sitting at about 32 million market cap right now so there is some definite upside to this coin it looks like a pretty cool project and if it does catch on that price of that coin will Will definitely be going up all right so that's the project core if you guys did miss my video on cryptex make sure you go ahead and check that out right here